All right. So I've got a uh, 600E here that we're going to thread up and, and check and see if we can figure out where your thread is getting hung up, Patty. All right. So I'm just using some red uh, Guterman in here. Hopefully it will show up on the camera very well. All right, so I'm going to make sure that I get this threaded correctly for one. So I'm going to go through there. I'm going to come up and over this. Make sure my presser foot is up. I'm going to go through here. And then, whoop, lost my thread. And then I'm going to pull it up through here. Through my take-up lever. Back down. Through this thread guide under that thread guide and then get it threaded. Okay. So there I have it threaded. And again, and make sure you go through this properly and then through here properly. I'm gonna adjust that down a little bit. Um, back up. This thread guide, this thread guide, and this thread guide, okay? We want to make sure we hit all our thread guides. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and remove my needle plate um, so that you can see uh, better. So I'm going to remove this part. And we're going to get that out of the way. All right, now the bobbin I have in there is empty. Um, I'm not going to worry about winding a bobbin. I don't think that is your issue. Um as long as your bobbins seem to be winding okay, you know, they're not loose and you don't see loops in the threads and things like that inside the bobbin case, you should be okay there. All right. So first thing I'm going to do, let's check this and see if we've got uh, any kind of hangups on our thread. Make sure my light is good. Okay. And I'm just turning this by hand. I'm holding my tails over here with my thumb so that they, uh, so that it has a little bit of tension. Okay, so that looked good. I didn't have anything get caught up. I noticed in your video, Patty, that the, the thread seems to be getting caught right in this area. It looks like it makes it past this, um, this bracket okay, but then something is getting hung up under there. Now, what we're gonna do, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bobbin case out, right? And while the bobbin case is out, I'm going to go ahead and turn this again so that you can see how the thread is, is behaving in here as it passes through here. All right. It's going over all of that nice and smooth. And then it gets to that point and it hangs up or it, it, it lets go. That's where yours was hanging up. It was right about there. Now, if our bobbin was in, okay. The thread would also be going, well, here, let's see if we can see it since I'm using red uh, thread. Let's see if it, if we can see where that thread is going through there, right? So it comes through and we can see as this thread comes around, the bottom thread is still, um, it's coming on this side of the, the shaft of the bobbin case, right? And it's coming through. Oh, I was wrong, sorry. It is not on that side of the bobbin case. It basically, so it goes under the bobbin, doesn't it? Right, okay. So it's gonna go underneath this bobbin. So let's take that bobbin out and double check that again. Pop that down. Yeah, so that thread would have gone underneath your bobbin. So it's gonna pass underneath here. So I know you said you have four bobbin cases and they all do the same, or bobbins and they all do the same thing. Make sure you check the underside of the, all these bobbins and make sure that there aren't any burrs or anything on there, okay? Um, and that includes a center point. And remember, um, these bobbin bobbins actually unscrew in the center. So you can unscrew this 
okay um and you can remove the old thread easily that way but when you screw them back make sure that everything is is good right so all that looks good now so if the bobbin if the bobbin is okay then where else could it be getting hung up right so let's do this again and let's look so it's coming right through here yours looked like it was getting caught somewhere in here so it could be that there is something on the bobbin case right in here that needs to be addressed. So to get your bobbin case out, what you want to do, and I just need a small screwdriver to do this, okay? This bracket, this is the uh, bobbin case positioning bracket, okay? And it's got a little bit of a spring there, and there doesn't need to be a lot of clearance here. But what you're going to do is you're just going to put a small screwdriver underneath there and then lift it up. Just gently lift it up until it clears this little screw right here. And then once it's out, or once it's cleared that, you can just slide it right out, okay? So that gets the bracket out of the way. Now we can simply remove the bobbin case. And then once we remove the bobbin case, we're gonna check, let's see, is it sitting there? It looked like the thread was getting caught up somewhere on this side. So you wanna make sure you check this area very, very well and make sure that it's smooth and that there's no uh, burrs or anything, that there's no crud in here that could be catching your thread. If it does have, um, if it does have a burr, take a, a, the fine side of a nail file and see if you can smooth that out a little bit, or if you have some four to 600 grit sandpaper, um, you, can, you can gently uh, smooth that out with some sandpaper but make sure it is very, very fine, okay? Four to 600. You don't want to go any lower than 400 because then you're just going to put deep scratches in it, okay? Um, if all of that looks good, then the other thing, so let's watch this now without the bobbin case in and see how it does, right? Now, it's in, gonna, the thread's going to end up releasing way early because there's nothing else really holding it in place. But you can see where it lands as it releases, it lands somewhere in here. So there could also be something in this area, even though that's all turning at the same time. Um, but it would definitely be worth checking in here and make sure that there's there's nothing uh, rough. Um, you will see a little bit of a, of a point right here. That's fine. But if there's anything in here or in here, um, in these areas, then you might want to address that as well. And of course, you know, clean in here, make sure that that's all good, right? So if all of that is good, let's put it back together. Okay, now you want to make sure that this 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 groove that's on your bobbin case um, sits correctly on the on the hook here, okay? So it's going to kind of that hook is going to basically, uh, the, well, the, the lip on your hook is going to get sandwiched in that groove there, right? So you're going to kind of put it in and then slide it sideways, okay? So that gets that in place. I'm going to put the tab down there and get that out of the way. So now we need to put our bracket back in, okay? And with the bracket, what I want you to do, I'm going to pull back a little bit so I don't get too much in the way. You're going to come in at an angle, and what you'll see over here, let me turn this. All right, you see kind of this little track right down in here? This part of the bracket kind of rides in that track. So what you're going to do, go. you're going to come in at an angle, and you're going to feel it have a little bit of resistance. I think there's a spring up underneath here. So you want to make sure you kind of get underneath that. And then you're going to slide it over until it gets on the other side of that, uh, of this eccentric screw here and drop it. And it's going to drop down into place if I can get my bobbin case. Okay. All right. So there, everything is back into place, right? So my, my bobbin case you can see it has just a little bit of play in it, not much at all. Um, it doesn't really move much at all, okay? So this is, it's not tight, but it's up against it. 
And then where I'm talking about is right here. Okay. That's just big enough for the thread to pass through. All right. So we put that back in there and now I'm going to turn this and make sure that I'm still, that everything is still acting the way it should. All right. That looks good. And I'm going to put my bobbin back in. And again, I'm going to turn this and make sure that my thread is releasing. And it seems to be. Um, now, if you feel like this is too tight right here, which it didn't seem like it was on yours, but if you feel like this is a little too tight, okay, you can always adjust this screw. Um, it's an eccentric screw, which means it's, it's off center. So as you turn it, the shaft of it is going to turn and it will move this little bracket uh, either left or right. I would do that as a last resort because that is an adjustment that you're just going to have to adjust and test and adjust and test and keep fiddling with it until it gets, gets, gets right. But I really don't think that this is the issue. I think the issue is probably something on the bobbin case or on the hook, uh, something is snagging your thread. So hopefully all of that helped. If you're still having issues, of course, let us know. All right. But um, otherwise, good luck. And uh, hopefully you'll be uh, reporting success. All right. Thanks, Patty.